Hey guys, it's Sunny back with another tutorial. Alright, well, what I'm going to be showing you guys today is a cool uh, text effect. So it's going to, well, what it's going to basically be is you could make this uh, almost any color you want. And yeah, it'll give your text a nice neon glow or just a simple glow if you want. So let's just go start a new composition. Okay, it's a good size and you want to make your background black so let's just go get the paint bucket black and then yeah I don't know if this will work with other dark colors but I know it doesn't work with the white and other colors it might not look as good with so yeah let's just go make our text uh, white let's go put that in the middle now you want to go make a new layer and you want to get your brush tool and you want to get a nice soft brush let's y y and you want to get a nice big one so that uh like the circle of your brush it's as big as a letter or well d depends you can do it however you want but this is how I'm going to do it for this tutorial all right so guys you want to pick bright colors and just simply go right over it right right now this is going to look really stupid to you guys but yeah so as you can see yeah like you don't need to be careful with any of this uh, un unless if you're like doing this on a specific project and you don't want other things to get colored then yeah but as you can see you know I'm just putting blobs looks stupid right now so so then once you got this done uh, we don't need to do anything else to this except uh, we need to go over to filter blur Gaussian blur and you want to give that maybe a nice since since I did that like like those are pretty b big and deep blobs, so let's make it s so like so you could like kind of see the text, but it's kind of like hidden too. So I'm gonna go for I mean, 80 on this. Yeah, all right. So as you could see, uh, you could kind of see the text, but what the hell? This isn't like neon or like a glow. So now we want to go over and go to color. So right now this doesn't look like shit until we go and add outer glow. So there you go. It gives it that gives it that nice effect around it all. And look, and you can increase it by just increasing this. And yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing it too big, but as you can see, it looks pretty nice. Gives it a nice effect right there. Now let me just try this out with let's say another font. See this one. This one should look nice. Oh, it's Oh, this one actually looks really nice. So as you can see, it gives it like a cool effect. You could use this for a uh, numerous amount of things. It's it, if you want to make like I don't know something to do with a party or a club. Um, this is the way to go. And if any of you want to know what this font is, it's called Clubland. Yeah, yeah, it's called Clubland. You could get it from Defont probably, or just Google it. And yeah, I hope you guys uh, learned something from this tutorial. Hope this helps you guys. And yeah have fun with this and as you can see when I move the text around uh, like the color it it only goes in the area where we actually put the blobs in oops in this layer right here so yeah and look if I go erase it then as you can see it's just normal now it still looks nice but not as nice as this so yep alright guys peace out uh, sorry, I haven't been making a lot of videos, but I am gonna now. Just I was busy with stuff, but yeah. So I'll be making like speed edits and some more tutorials. And if you guys want to help me out, just tell me what you guys want me to do. That way, it's easier for me to make videos. And also about the 200 subs thing, I feel that the contest alone, which is gonna be done tomorrow, is enough. So yeah, hope you guys understand because like there's no point in me doing a whole nother intro giveaway or background giveaway when when I'm already running this big contest, which a lot of you have been entering, so yeah. Peace.